opportunity, but he kept his composure, kept his head, and found the back of the net. Well, let's have a look at the highlights of the match and the tail of the tape. And it all started in the eighth minute. Irfan Fandi coming away from the defender. And all alone in the penalty area, you would have fancied him to put that away. Yeah, I think you know this was a routine straight from the training ground. We saw Irfan just peel away from his marker towards the back post. Thailand caught off guard there. Uh, but Thailand had a couple of half chances, I would say. This perhaps their best opportunity in that first half. A long diagonal ball from Bellini into Michok. Uh, and then it was Natawood who couldn't take advantage uh, as the ball fell to him. Yeah, on second view, Natawood here will be disappointed. He didn't have enough power behind the shot to beat Zarfan. And here is the goal. Yeah. Just look at how Zarfan puts the press on Marco Bellini. Yeah, again, it's, it's a move that breaks down from Thailand. They're trying to long the ball, it breaks down the midfield. It's spoke about Singapore winning those second balls well and then looking to hit quickly on the break. First time balls over the top. And that's what caused the issue for Thailand here. You know, Sidney Chok, I think, made initially. And not Sidney Chok, sorry. Uh, it was uh, Shinapat, rather, the number five, who made a mistake at the back uh, with the header. Polini couldn't recover the ground, and Nixon just put him under intense pressure. Yes, a little bit of talk with the jersey there, but this is where we thought the uh, chance was gone. You know, but he kept his composure and Thailand couldn't get their defenders back in time and he found the back of the net with a lovely composed finish there, Iksan Fandi, as I mentioned, coming on and certainly making a big difference uh, to the Singapore side in attack. So let's keep on looking at the highlights and we'll cut to board, board the Malayan Cup, but as you see, you can only play the team in front of you and they did it to perfection here, Singapore deserve to be the champions in the 2019 Malayan Cup. Yeah, it's great to hear that roar from the crowd as well, it's stuck around to see Singapore lift the trophy here. It's a, it certainly are yeah, deserved champions, really show those fighting qualities in this match against Thailand. And, oh, I've been very impressed by their fitness levels, when you think about it, they played on Friday, and then they had a rest day on Saturday and they've come in here into this final match and there have not been too many changes to the lineup. They pretty much played a similar sort of starting lineup that they did in that match against Friday. Was it just two changes uh, in that starting lineup? And the fitness levels, you know, you've got to give a lot of credit to the technical team who have worked on uh, the fitness levels of these players. We've been very impressed with their conditioning as well because we didn't see one single player put out with crap. There was a lot of ground to be covered here in this game against Thailand. Well, they've certainly done the business. They can feel proud of themselves, but as I said, still a long way to go. Still a long way to go, and let's hope this is the first step onto uh, greater things for them. Well, we see that Zoka 9, Susliman, who wasn't involved in this tournament due to injury, well, he now has a tough fight. And right back, all left back, and right back, I think, Irfan Najib put up a very good performance. Irfan Fandi, I think the congratulations. Head coach Fandi had a huge roar. As he gets a medal from Lim Kya Tong. <laughs> well, then, just getting nice and compact behind them, getting a little bit tight on that uh, on that podium. The VIP just being asked to move forward a little bit, make way for the players who are celebrating. <laughs> now the phones are out. It's, uh, it's customary these days, yes. social media rules, live streaming their celebrations. On Instagram Live, I'm sure you can see Zarfan holding up a phone. Look, it's been 10 years since the Malayan Cup, the last edition of the Malayan Cup, and for the 8th edition, we have a champion in Singapore at the under-22 side. It was hard fought. They came away convincing winners against the Philippines by three goals to nil. And they technically out with the Thailand in the final. And as the trophy is presented to Joshua Pereira, Erfan Fandi, they lift the trophy as the 2019 Merlion Cup champions. Well done to the Young Lions! <laughs> A big moment in Singapore football.
an even bigger moment to beat a rival like Thailand. Uh, Singapore celebrates. The Thais are walking off, frustrated, back to the changing room. Indonesia taking the opportunity to give a few selfies. But Singapore, the moment is yours. Enjoy it, you deserve it. Celebrate long into the night. Well, as the players celebrate, we are awaiting pitch side interviews, so do stay tuned. What a moment it is for Irfan finally to lift the trophy for his country. It's a beautiful trophy as well, isn't it? Love a big old trophy like that. Uh, he'll be working his bicep curl before lifting that. <laughs> From the looks of it, I'm sure he has.